everyone, Petal is blessed here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm coming on today with two easy wall decor ideas to share with you using items from the dollar store and more. Okay, so we're going to start with this 12 by 16 canvas that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I have this image here that I printed from my cutting machine. And I use gold glitter <laughs> as the vinyl I use and it's iron on. Okay, so I have it on the canvas where I want it. Now I'm going to use my Cricut mini press heating machine, handheld. <laughs> I'm going to be using it to press it down and I have it on the highest setting, which the three lights are on. I'm just going to go in a circular motion and then iron it onto our canvas. Now today's video is sponsored by 360 Robot vacuum s8 so i'm going to be sharing that with you guys a little later in today's video okay so now we're all done pressing it on so i'm just gonna slowly peel back our sheet now i'm going to take some of these floral branches that i got from the dollar tree and they're nice in the gold with the glitter all over and i'm just gonna cut them into pieces <laughs> and glue them onto our canvas. Then I'll just be using some hot glue to glue them down. Now I'm going to take a few minutes to share with you the 360 RoboVac that I got and I absolutely love it. I'm so excited to share it with you all. So let's get into that review. Alright everyone, here's the box that the 360 Robo vacuum cleaner comes in and this is the inside and it comes with a user manual and a network configuration guide and here's everything inside the box. So we have the power cord right here. And then we have the pieces for whatever country you're in, you use that power adapter. And right here, we have a cleaning brush to help clean off the machine. And this is the charging dock. And here is the robo vacuum. Here it is here and this is underneath. And we get an extra cleaning brush with it. And this is the part for the mopping. Next, you have to download and install the Robot 360 Smart App. And over here, it shows you a map of your home. And then there are zones that you can have that it doesn't go, that it stays away from. <laughs> and you, the green one here programs it for where you want it to vacuum. And you can make it as big as you want or as small as you want. Depends on what space you want your vacuum to operate under. And then you press start. And here we go. Our vacuum is starting up. And it's going to go to the area that I told it to go to on the app. And this 360 RoboVac, which is the S8 version, you can mop and you can vacuum with it, which is so neat. And it's a very reasonable price. So you can use it on your carpet or on your floors. And I love it that you can put it, it goes underneath your furniture. I love that because it's hard for me to bend down and get underneath there. So now my smart vac will do it for me. I love it. You all see Gucci, he does not want to move. I'm trying to flame and Gucci says, I'm not moving. <laughs> And the vacuum has different levels for you to do suction with and you can program it to anyone that you want and if the battery life is running out it will dock charge back itself and then continue from where it left off but if it's all done it goes right back to the charging dock like you have right here and it's going to charge itself over again okay so now i'm going to use it as the mop 
So I'm gonna add the mop attachment here to the back. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna add the water into here. Don't add any cleaning um, solution or anything, just add plain water. And then we're gonna put it back in. And now it's mopping my floor like I programmed it to. <laughs> I love that. Now it's not a heavy mop. It's a, like an in-between maintenance mop. You know, you did your big mop, then the next day, you just want a little go over. You could use this and go over and keep your floors nice and clean. And this vacuum is also quiet. You can put it to levels that it's quiet or a regular level so it's a little, and it's not noisy, but you can make it very quiet if you want, which is absolutely nice. So I will leave a link below to this vacuum that you can get on Amazon and it's very reasonable and it's great. I absolutely love it. I'm so glad that I got one. So like I said, I'll leave the link below and you guys go and go over and check it out. So let's get back in now to today's DIY. All right, everyone, this is the items that we're using for DIY number two, our canvas board, our silver glitter sheet this time, and some silver branches. So once again, like before, we have our 12 by 16, and we're going to put our image down, which is a bowl in silver this time, a vase in silver this time. And I'm going to use my mini easy press and iron it onto our canvas. And again, the highest setting, cause it's glitter. So the three lights are on for the highest setting. Okay, now that we're all done, we're going to peel back our layer. Doesn't that look nice? And like we did with the first canvas, we're going to glue our branches down to our canvas <laughs> on top of the vase. So it looks like they're coming out of the vase. And again, I'm using some hot glue. This is a nice and easy fun DIY to do. And when you're done, you'll have something looking elegant and fabulous that you could keep for yourself or give as a last minute gift idea to someone special on your list. <laughs> and just keep adding the branches so it looks nice and full. And here's the finished look of our two canvas wall decor. I like how they turned out and I love the 3D effect with the branches sticking out. <laughs> Doesn't look gorgeous in the silver. And I also love how it turned out in the gold. Like I said before, two easy and glam DIYs using items from the dollar store and more. <laughs> Leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think of today's two DIY 3D wall art canvases that I shared with you. All right, everyone, that's all your girls got for you today. And I would like to wish everyone a happy holiday <laughs> for this 2022 season. And I hope I have inspired you once again with two lovely pieces of home decor that you could do for yourself or give away to someone that is special. And I hope everyone will give me a thumbs up for today's DIYs. And remember, as always, to stay blessed from Petal is Blessed, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye bye, everyone. As long as I have it, you by my side, yeah, I'm alright, yeah. There's no way that I can.